Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And recently I've been talking a lot about the AMD Ryzen 3000 series rumors, which are of course really exciting rumors suggesting 16 cores, 32 threads, at 5.1 GHz boost. And so really exciting stuff. And a lot of the viewers that watch my channel, and especially these kind of videos, would also, uh, I guess how do I put this, are very uh, invested and interested in these processors. And so I wanted to take today's video, after of course doing a large number of other videos talking about how good these supposedly will be based off of leaks, I wanted to take today's video to talk about what happens if it's actually bad. What happens if everything that we've been, you know, rumoring and, you know, suggesting and hypothesizing turns out to be wrong, and it is just another reiteration of the Ryzen 3000, or 2000 series. So, first off, let's start off by setting a couple baselines. First off, we know AMD is not going to reduce the number of cores that they already have. Um, that's just pretty highly, highly likely, so we're not going to assume that. We're also going to go with the assumption they're not going to decrease clock speeds, um, which I would also assume that we'll go with the assumption, similar from what we saw from the 1000, Ryzen 1000 series, the Ryzen 2000 series, we saw a slight clock speed improvement, so I'd suggest that we'd also see that again, and so therefore, we expect maybe 0.3 gigahertz all across the board of performance increases. So, there, I'd say, as usual, it probably increased a little bit, and so therefore we would expect that to be the base minimum. Here's what things are, I would say, if Ryzen was the very worst they could be, um, we would not expect any core increases. The top end um, processor would, of course, probably be the Ryzen 3800X, and that would be what we saw at CES running against the 9900K, We'd expect that the if it was really the worst, uh, this 3800X would be priced the exact same as the i9 9900K, and therefore it would be pretty much on par with each other, and therefore people would not really want to um, buy that, and that may be like a super overclocked version. Um, as for what we would expect from... Um, the lower end models, we may see that marginal in performance increase, we may see a marginal performance increase from the Zen 2 architecture, if this, as I said, was the worst, and we would also expect to see maybe, um, I don't know, maybe some higher RAM overclocking, um, but that's really it. Now, a lot of people would say, well, you know, that sounds bad, um, especially, you know, when we have a lot of other things that, especially Lisa Su, the CEO of AMD, has said that AMD always has a core advantage over Intel, and it plans to keep that, quoting from what she said in the summary. Um, it really does go against a lot of what we've already heard, but we're just going on the assumption that this is the worst possible uh, scenario that could happen. So, we'll assume that this all happens. We have an 8-core 16-thread processor at the forefront of AMD, um, and we'll also go with the assumption that the 9900K that it was put up against um, was downclocked, as well as AMD's processor um, maybe having a higher IPC, but a lower clock speed, and therefore we really don't see that much of a marginal increase, and that would explain why I perform about the same as Intel's i9-9900K. And so, therefore we've had this really on par processor with the 9900K that's not as good for gaming. So this comes out, this gets released. And, uh, well, first off, a lot of people don't think about this. One of the bad problems for, about rumors is that companies will go through and they'll, you know, be working on a product and all these rumors come out and they start over-promising. A lot of people start heavily relying on these rumors. And so everyone that's been really excited, me included, and I've jumped on this bandwagon long ago, um, that they're really excited about these new processors and they're really believing and buying into the rumors, and they're saying, I'm going to wait till these new processors come out, and these new processors come out and they're not anywhere what we expected. So... Therefore, it's not going to be a good day for AMD. First off, a lot of people that were investing in AMD expecting these processors to come out and their spot stock to increase are, of course, going to pull their stock. AMD is going to get a really bad hit from um, all the investors that were planning on you know, the Ryzen 3000 series following through. They're going to pull out. I have people that actually invested um, in AMD stock that I know personally, and that's the sole reason they did invest in it was just so that they could have money in there, and if AMD did release these processors, you know, they'd be really excited and they'd actually make some money off it. And so, first off, the investors would take their, or sell out their stocks, and that would be one of the major hits. Second of all, a lot of those people that were originally planning on buying 
exclusively AMD processors, now have to raise the question, well, this is just a mediocre increase, and if clock speeds are not up to what we expect, maybe IPC is, but of course clock speeds are not, they might be like, well, you know, AMD doesn't have the best clock speeds, I might want to go over to Intel, let's go over to Intel and get a processor as well. So they'll start losing out on um, potential customers as well. And so AMD, regardless, is going to take a hit if this is, um, you know, some over-exaggerated release. And so I feel bad for the people if AMD is put in the situation uh, that they're trying to make these processors, but they're being you know overpromised and there's something they physically can't reach. Um, so that's also another bad side, and that's what would really happen if um, AMD's what, these processors were not the best um, and were not what we are everyone's really hoping for. Now that's not to say there's ex a substantial amount of evidence and leaks and rumors that really do suggest that this is what we're going to be expecting. So much so that I'm pretty positive. But, as I said, these are still leaks, and therefore, we still have the potential for it to be bad. Now, as I said, it, you know, Lisa Sue did say that Ryzen is going to have more cores always, um, or that AMD likes to have a core kind of advantage over Intel, but still, um, this is the video is focused on that thought experiment of what would really happen. And that's kind of the resulting consequences of, you know, everyone relying and rumoring up and, you know, exaggerating uh, something that possibly wasn't. And I would use, people would be like, you know, well, why would AMD do that? Or what evidence do you have that AMD has done that in the past? And I don't know if you guys remember Vega. Um, that was really hyped up. I was actually in the middle of getting, picking out parts for this PC. I snagged me a 1080 Ti for 650 bucks, and everyone's like, no, 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 you should have waited for Vega. Vega's supposed to be so good, so stupid. And I'm like, okay, okay. I was like, you know, I have a 1080 Ti for 650 bucks, which at the time, of course, was a big chunk of money, and, you know, I, that's probably been the good investment of my whole PC career, because it just came out, and I got it at 650 bucks, and then it went up, like, sky high, so I was really, you know, curious about, you know, did I make the right choice, and what happens, Vega comes out, and it's about the same level, of t Vega 64 comes out, it's about the same level of 1080 Ti, only it's, like, the same price as this, and I was, that was pretty much it, I was done. Um, AMD really did do a disappointment there on what everyone was expecting. And so that's what the summary or the basis of this video is. Not to say that AMD will, and not to say that these rumors are a lot more concrete than what we saw at Vega, but still, I would expect uh, that if this would be what would happen if AMD's you know, processors were not living up to, I guess, all the rumors, which sometimes can be lived up to, so I do feel bad if that's the case. But thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate you taking a little bit of your time out today to watch my lovely example of a video, and um, check out my channel for other cool tech related news, reviews, builds, videos, etc. I've got lots of reviews I've done as well, and um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Consider liking the video and subscribing if you're interested in that kind of stuff. If not, have a good day, and uh, enjoy whatever you're doing for the rest of, I guess, the day. Um, thank you. Goodbye.